wireless commercial where the guy would say, can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. Yeah? All over the place. Well, good, because this year, the wireless <laughs> service here on the state fairgrounds should be the best ever. Should be, because Verizon says they've upped their technology in most of the major buildings and in the high traffic areas here at the fair. So Andrew Donovan checked this out for us. He went behind the scenes with the Verizon team to see just what they're doing here on the fairgrounds. The 13,000 fans filling Chevy Court for Dropkick Murphys probably didn't know their Snapchats and other social media posts were going through thanks to the Verizon truck towering over. Chevy Court or the Midway where there's a lot of people in a congested area, you know, when you pick up your phone and you try to send a text or send a picture and it doesn't go through, it's frustrating. To fight those frustrations, when Jeff Reynolds brings his family to the fair, he won't be as focused on the rides as the rest of us. You're always looking at your own equipment, right? You're always looking at, hey, that's ours. Hey, is it, you know, is it still, is it performing right? You always grab your phone and you do a couple speed tests. He's part of the team that's enhancing cell service on the fairgrounds, including on the Midway, where there's a portable tower. We've always had outstanding coverage here. But because of the increased numbers that we've had at the fair over the years, we decided to bump our capacity up. Cell service gets bars to a single phone, but capacity is making sure many phones get that service. And when you have, you know, over 100,000 people in one area trying to cover them and actually get the, the speeds that they need to do any application on their phone, it's very difficult to do. And, you know, the only way to really do it is get as close to them as you can. Verizon is very close to fairgoers, outside and inside. There are nearly 100 antennas, which are like mini cell towers, in nine buildings, including the Coliseum, Expo Center and Dairy Products Building. I grew up in Chittenango, so I've been here my whole life, so it's a little bit personal to me to make sure everything is good because, you know, it's kind of my stomping grounds. He's not here for good food. He's here for good service. Nine total buildings on the fairgrounds have had these upgrades. Additionally, you have the two portable towers for fairgoers to use and then two towers exclusively for emergency services over by Gate 6, oh, Dan and Christie. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of hardware they put in. Is it working? Well, the true test of that was on Saturday when the fair set that record crowd of almost 130,000 people. Right. I talked to the team. They certainly see a spike in traffic on their end. They can actually monitor minute by minute how it's working, and they say it worked just fine. It's faster when there are less people, sure. but it held up just fine on that record crowd Saturday. That well, was a big test. It, it was, was a big yeah. test, and that's exactly why they, they did this. It was they kind of a test. They, yeah. they approached the state and said, hey, we know you're breaking records right. every single year. Yeah. We need to come in and upgrade the system. Other wireless carriers have not to this date. Oh, I haven't seen anybody walking on the fairgrounds swearing at their cell phone and, so, no, and shaking it, so it's probably good news. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, funny. Andrew. All right, we're going to send